what's up YouTube welcome back to intuition in today's video I want to give you guys five tips on how to become smarter and raise your IQ trying to become smarter is something that everybody should try to push for you know pursuing knowledge and enlightenment is a big part of becoming the best version of yourself so let's go ahead with these tips so tip number one to becoming a smarter person is to care if you want to become a smarter person you need to give a damn and this is an area where a lot of people fall short i give you an example. When I came to the U.S. when I was about nine years old, I was shocked to learn that education is free here, that there's free public education here in the U.S., which was fascinating to me because I, you know, I'd never heard about free education. I was very excited to hear that this is a country that cares enough about its citizen that it's willing to invest in the people of the country and to make sure that everybody has access to education. But here's the problem people kind of take that for granted and they don't even care right so if you want to become smarter you need to care in order for you to care you have to have a reason why you care and there are lots of different reasons that you can use to motivate you to become a smarter person for example you might want to be the first person in your family to go to college or you want to be the first person in your family to become a doctor so that could be something that will motivate you and something that will mean a lot to you if you're able to accomplish those goals for me my motivation is understanding the world because if you think about it there's so much that we experience on a daily basis and yet many of us have very little understanding of how these things work you're living in the world filled with so much wonder filled with a lot of experience and a lot of things going on and we don't even care to try to understand how these things work and to me i see that as you're half alive you're not fully alive because you're not even questioning your surroundings. You have a limited time on earth to explore and get to know the place, and yet you don't even ask questions about the place. You know, So it's like, why are you alive if you're not even interested in getting to know the wonder of the universe that you live in? So that's how I look at it. I ask questions, I'm like, hmm, I wonder why the sky is blue. How do cars work? So for me, it started off with me asking questions about the world and me having an interest in how the universe and the world works and that's where my thirst for knowledge and education comes from. You must have a reason to pursue knowledge. Because if you don't have a reason, then you're not going to be motivated and you're not going to, and even though you might start off trying to learn something, you're going to quit because you don't really have a passion for it and you don't know why you're trying to learn what you're learning. So the first thing you need to do is have a reason why. Okay, now tip number two to becoming a smarter person is to believe that it's possible. I know that there, there are lots of different type of thinking out there. There's different philosophies on how people look at uh, intelligence in this world. There's some people who think that intelligence is a fixed quantity. There are people who believe that a person's aptitude is fixed, kind of like how fast you can be. For example, if I train to become a faster runner, no matter how fa how much I train, how many hours I put in, chances are I'm never going to be as fast as Usain Bolt because there's a genetic component to how fast you can run. And chances are there's also a genetic component to intelligence. Maybe you might not be a fast learner. Maybe you might not pick up on things as quick as other people, but that doesn't mean that you can't learn. You can learn anything. You might not learn it at a rapid rate. You know, you might learn it at a slower rate, but that doesn't matter. The point is that you can learn and anybody can learn anything. So trying to say, oh, I'm just not smart or I'm just not good at math. Really, you're just making excuses. So don't make excuses. Believe that you can actually become smarter because you can. If you work at it, if you care to try to become smarter, you will become smarter. So don't believe in these fixed ideologies where people tell you that you're only this good and you can only always be this good. Okay, that's not true. You can always get better. And you know that you can always get better because learning is mainly about memory, logical reasoning, and some creativity. And if you can improve in those three areas, your intelligence is going to drastically improve. So you can definitely get better. Okay, tip number three to becoming smarter is to embrace simplicity. You see, a lot of people think that being smart is about complication. It's about being able to understand complicated things. But it's really not. The more I learn, the less complicated things are. They become very simple because I understand that they operate on the very simple laws. Once you learn the laws of physics and you understand how things work, you realize that all these things that seem complicated are actually simple at the fundamental level. And you don't even have to take my word for it. Feynman, who is a bona fide genius, had a quote that says, the truth 
always turns out to be simpler than you thought. So with this tip, what I want to tell you is that when it comes to trying to become more intelligent, the key is not to try to learn complicated things. You know, you don't want to dive into, oh, let me go pick up the most complex esoteric book I can find and try to understand it. No, pick up the simplest book you can find. Try to find the simplest explanations you can find. You don't want to focus on complicated things. What you want to do is you want to become good at simple things. It's kind of like the movie, The Karate Kid, where Mr. Miyagi was teaching Daniel Sun how to wax on and wax off. And he was like, how the hell is that going to teach me how to fight? Yeah, you're doing these simple motions, but these simple motions, when combined together, can generate complicated motions. Because complicated motion, complicated things, are just combinations of simple things. So if you focus on learning the simple things, becoming good at the simple stuff, the more complicated stuff are gonna be easy. So don't be afraid to go back and learn simple things. Go back and brush up on your algebra skills. Go back and brush up on your arithmetic skills. Make sure that you know what decimals are, what they mean. These are things that your kids are gonna be learning anyway, and you want to be able to explain things correctly to your kids, and right? So that way, they grow up to be smart people. Okay, and tip number four for you guys, is to read, read, read. Become a voracious reader. Because here's the thing, there's so much knowledge out there, there's so much information out there. And that's a good thing. I feel like I'm very lucky to live in a, to live in a time where we know so much and there's just so much available for you to learn because you're never gonna be bored. There's always something that you can learn. There's always something that you can read and gain knowledge on. And if currently you're not a reader, start off by reading things that you're interested in. Think about what topics you like. Are you more of a social person? Read some novels, you know, read sociology books, lots of philosophy books you can read. So start off with the areas and the subjects that you like, and then gradually you're gonna branch off. And what's gonna happen is that your appetite is gonna expand, your interest is going to expand, and you're gonna be more interested in other topics. And before you know it, you're gonna know so much about a lot of different topics and your intelligence is just gonna skyrocket. Okay, so that's tip number four. And my final tip to you guys to become smarter is to practice, practice, practice. You know, learning, becoming smarter is an active process. It's not gonna happen through osmosis, okay? You're going to have to put in work. And with tip number four, I told you guys that you should become a voracious reader. You should read, read, and read. But more important is you wanna question, question what you read and you wanna become an active reader. Becoming smart, it's simply the ability to take in information and being able to filter the signal from the noise. The signal is going to be the core concept within that information. It's going to be the vital piece of information that you need to understand. And this is why a lot of people think that learning is so hard and knowledge is so complicated because they're not able to filter out the noise. Well, you become good at being able to filter out the noise by asking very simple questions. You have to constantly question what you read, question what you learn. Even when you think you understand something, try to look at it from a different perspective. And if you reach the same conclusion when you take a different perspective, then chances are you have a very deep understanding of that material. So you want to read, you want to ask questions, you want to practice problems if you're doing science and math, you want to solve a lot of problems. And if you want to take your game up to the next level, start teaching. That's a big part of why I started this YouTube channel and I started to teach. You know, I put my ideas out there because when I teach, I actually learn it at the same time. It forces me to simplify my thoughts and to be able to eke out the vital pieces of information that it takes to understand the material. And that's what I present to you guys. When I give out information, I do my best to give you the signal and eliminate the noise. So that way you don't get confused by my explanations. And when I do that, I understand the material better myself. Whatever your knowledge base is, if you're passionate about it, then go ahead and share it with the world. Go ahead and start teaching. And I would love to learn from you. Not only would you be contributing something positive to, to the world, you'll actually be boosting your intelligence at the same time. So that's a win-win situation. Hopefully that encourages you guys to go out there and to go out there and become the intelligent people that you can be. Just don't quit in yourself, just don't doubt yourself. So go ahead, get the books cracking, start learning, believe in yourself. And as always, I'll see you guys next week. All right, bye-bye.